All right, y'all, we are live on this beautiful Tuesday morning. Blessings to everybody in the name of Jesus, Yeshua, the Messiah. Even if you are not religious, I pray you and your family are super blessed. This Bitcoin is coming down to the wire, the most crucial level that we have on our chart, guys. That is right, the retest of the breakout of the symmetrical triangle pattern. And it is here that Bitcoin determines the future for all of the crypto markets for the rest of the bull market and bull markets to come. The most important level, the most important crypto stream in history. So make sure to like the video, make sure to subscribe to the channel. As usual, if we can get 1,000 likes in the first 30 minutes, we are giving away $1,000, 1,000 USDT, baby. That's absolutely insane. All right, absolutely insane. Major shout out to the sponsors of the channel. First of all, major shout out to Market Cipher, the best trading indicator on TradingView, period. Shout out to Bing X, the exchange I'm currently short on Bitcoin from the top from yesterday's CDW. If you sign up to Bing X, link in the description, you get up to $6,200 to trade with. Also, major shout out to MexC, best deal on fees in the game, baby. All right, currently trading on MexC. In a couple of longs, still holding the longs and strong, baby. Got 200K on this long trade. Got another 100K on this long trade. Another 200K on this long trade. We are half a mil, baby. Long, all right? And so we've got our money on the line, baby. We're risking hundreds of that. Well, okay. We're putting hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of money onto these trades, baby. ZoomX is the other exchange I'm trading on. Also, guys, shout out to the Casper crew because we have given every single one of these major long pivots along the way up in advance. Letting people know when we're taking these juicy trades. Shout out to the Casper crew VIP Discord, the best trading community in the world. JasonCasperTrading.com to join the community. Guys, as I said, Bitcoin is coming down to the wire. All right. The retest of this trend line is going to determine what happens, in my opinion, for the rest of the week. And we got to give a major shout out to everybody in the chat because, look, you guys are here. And I appreciate you. God bless each and every one of you. Thank you so much for spending your time with me on this beautiful Tuesday morning. A huge shout out to Joe Potter. He's long and strong, baby. A huge, massive shout out to John Foster Crypto. Let us know about the Pow Lao ID. Look, I'm doing my best with it, all right? Shout out to Divine Hood. I know, it looks like the short scalp from yesterday turned into more than a dang scalp trade, baby. That's how those short scalps always work in an uptrend. Shout out to Andruska D. What is going on? Shout out to Once a Wild Pony. Shout out to Casper Jason said Goat. I am not the goat. Or I don't like to associate myself with uh, rudiment animals. But I'm not even nearly the best trader in the... There's, I'm just a YouTuber, guys, all right? That's the thing, you know? People who have a platform can seem way better than they are. The real good traders are you guys lurking in the chat, making hundreds of thousands of dollars every single day with no YouTube channel. How did I short? Okay, so yesterday, yesterday morning, we were saying that the only trades to be taking were going to be local CDWs. What is a CDW? A CDW, guys, is when you put in a high in a local range. I go over this almost every stream, right? This is how I always get the entries from the top and bottom, right? You put in a high right here. You put in your first high. You build up some liquidity. Then you take that high, and then you lose the high. And when you lose the high, that gives you your trade setup. Your stop loss goes above the high. This is your entry, and you shoot down to the low of the range where I did hit a take profit one yesterday. I've actually sniped out two take profits here. So, so far on this trade, I've taken out almost 8K, and then I did take a loss yesterday, shorting as well. Tried to short the golden pocket, $1,600 loss, and then this is my last short trade, $12,000 profit, baby. And this is the only trade I've taken in the month of April. All right, at least short trades. This is my shorting account. Shout out to Bing X. Bing for bearish, B for bearish, baby. Shorting only on Bing X. All right, that's how you get into the trade. Write it down, because that is one of the main trade setups I like to trade, because it gives you the best risk to reward ratios. And I do have to say, 
that we might see something similar today in the opposite direction. So maybe we're going to pump today, all right? Shout out to Matt Fontaine. He's super long. Shout out to WH, finally a different shirt. Yes, you know, somebody in the household, I'm not going to mention names, put my other shirt in the dang washing machine. Can you believe such a thing? Shout out to Memory Man. Shout out to Milkshake Memory. Shout out to Crypto Coons. Shout out Memory Man. And shout out to J-Boy Bullish in the chat. Shout out Memory Man. Shout out to Ben I Am says Juicy Gains. All right, shout out to Dexmo bounced from the trend line. Yeah, we're going to be talking about this, uh, Dexmo. We're going to be talking about this. Am I still shooting for 75K? How could I not, baby? I'm a Bitcoin bull on the YouTube, baby, with the Pikachu hat and everything to go along with it. We're shooting for 100K, 7,500K. All right, shout out to Palms. He says, Pomp, baby. Shout out to Darla Adams. A huge praise to the Lord for 120,000 subscribers. Congrats from Budapest. Thank you and God bless you all. Thank you so much. 120 subscribers. That is pretty wild. Never thought, never thought, never thought it would be uh, it would be like that. All right. Shout out to uh, Ian Diaz. Uh, <laughs> thank you, my friend. Thank you. That's that's a nice little touch that my my friend Chris. Shout out to Chris. He put it on there. We're lurking around that triangle line. Yeah, man. Yeah, we are. Shout out to Fit Genius Six One Eight. So guys, it, yeah, it, as you can see from the chart, this is very, very intense because on Sunday, I made a video and I basically said, I expect us to take out these highs right here. I expected us to take these highs right here. Let's put a line where we expected it, right? We expected to take out the highs at $72,000, right? And then basically I said, I expect a new all-time high as long as we hold above as long as we hold above the, the triangle trend line, right? Because we had a perfect storm. The perfect storm right here. What is the perfect storm? Oh, man. Look, what we had here was we had a trend line where people are expecting a breakout, longing the breakout. We also had a zone of liquidity where people are going to be uh, having their stop losses get triggered. And so this is a very key zone. And we have to understand that if we lose this trend line, we could very, very, very easily come back down to the low of the triangle here, y'all. All right, very easily, just as easily as we came back to the highs, we could come back down to the lows. And let us not forget that this simply is a sideways range. Highs at around 74K, which is my next take profit on the longs. Lows at around 59K, all right? So we are trading sideways and objectively speaking, guys, we are back at the high of the range. All right, now we're gonna be taking a look at our indicators. We're gonna be taking a look at the key levels. We're gonna be taking a look at the different scenarios to see what could possibly play out here. All right, but look, right now, where is the Bitcoin price bouncing from? The Bitcoin price is bouncing from none other than the 786 from the last swing low that we put in here on the 8th to the high that we put in also on the 8th. So from yesterday's low to yesterday's high, we're bouncing from the 786. But here's what's a little bit concerning, guys. We have not really been able so far, I would say, to change market structure. We had a key support resistance flip right here. Support, lost, resistance once, resistance twice, resistance three times. And locally, what do we get right here? A local CDW pattern, right? Just like how I shorted that top, what did we get right here? We had liquidity building up over here, right? We had liquidity building up one high, two highs, three highs, four highs, five highs. Then finally, six highs. We stopped out everybody who had their stop losses here looking for lower. And now we're getting the move to the downside. And so this is absolutely crucial right now because we know the Bitcoin price is coming down to the trend line and getting a little bit of a bounce. So what do we want to see here? Well, in if this is going to be a nice bottom, we do want to see a higher low be put in here. So in general, if we're going to pull our Fibonacci from the low to the high, we would not want to see 69.9 lost, right? We would not want to see 69.9 lost. But I'm going to take a look at Market Cipher B because I think that's going to give us a little bit more clarity on Market Cipher B. All right. So make sure to like the video. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. Make sure to click the bell for notifications because you do not want to miss these juicy technical analysis updates. And guys, today is not Monday. It is Tuesday, which means there's a very good chance we're going to see some crazy action. All right. Shout out to my man, Shirto Vadermo, who says, will you do TA? 
on one hour for RPGPT. It's on Dex Screener. Yeah, we can do some TA on that, my friend. Thank you so much for the super chat. Thank you so much for the super chat. We can absolutely do some TA on RPG on Dex Screener. All right. Okay, so let's take a quick look here at the Bitcoin chart and see what is happening. All right. Now, I'll be honest with you guys. You know, yesterday I was bullish. All right. I was bullish yesterday. I was, I was incorrect in my bias yesterday. I was expecting yesterday we were going to make a new high. I was expecting some kind of crazy price action. Um, that did not happen. Okay. So what did happen? Well, the Bitcoin price did come down to retest a pretty key level, two key levels, I would say. We have our trend line here and we have ourselves this last high before the breakout. So this is key support resistance flip right here at about 70,350. Now, so far, we are actually holding this support with a four hour candle close above, which does look pretty nice, but we're still unable to get above the VWAP today. If we see price continuing lower here, then the next target that we're going to have to the downside is going to be the Fibonacci Golden Pocket, which comes in right around 67,500, give or take, right? And not only is that the Fibonacci Golden Pocket, but if we take the volume of this thing, well, that's not true. Wait a second. I thought that was a high volume node. You know what? Don't listen to anything I say, guys. Yeah, it's a high volume node. It's a high volume node. So yeah, 67.5, we could easily come down to here. And look, if this is going to continue to the upside, we definitely want to see this zone hold right here, okay? Because you could make the case right now that we have made a really nice low, we made a higher high, we made a higher low into what at the time was the Fibonacci Golden Pocket, which which was the, the, the setup that we gave in the Casper Proof VIP Discord, right? We came down, we gave that setup from the Golden Pocket in the Casper Proof VIP Discord. Shout out to the Casper Proof VIP Discord, guys. We have been giving these juicy long trades the entire way, all right? And now you could say that yesterday we made another higher high, all right? And now if we're gonna continue in an uptrend, you would look for that higher low to come in at around 67, 614, and then break out of the triangle, all right? So if we're gonna lose the trend line, I am going to be looking for a long from the golden pocket. However, we have to also understand that because we're trading sideways and because we have a fake out of the triangle, let's actually pull all the volume that we have right here within the triangle. Let's pull all the volume. Yeah, look at this, guys. So look, we have to realize that if we are going to not bounce from this golden pocket, there's a very high chance that we will come back down to the low of the triangle here. And I'm talking lower than 64.5. Right, we're, we're talking back down to around 63. That's very, very probable that we come down here or even lower. So I really want to see this zone hold right here this morning. And if not, I really want to see this zone hold right here for higher prices. All right. Now, what are some targets that I have to the upside? Honestly, my next target on all of these longs, if we continue up today, is going to be $74,000 because we are simply trading a sideways range, right? We understand based on the weekly time frame that the probabilities are sideways and down for the next few weeks, just like what we saw back in January when we printed a red dot on the weekly right around here, all right? This was where the red dot on the weekly printed, guys. And from that time, we were sideways and eventually down before the big move to the upside. We're, we're pretty much in the same exact environment. So 74K gonna be my next target. If we hold this major, major zone of support. Now New York is gonna open in 14 minutes. We're gonna get an injection of volume. All right. We're going to get a very, uh, how do I say, a very, a very healthy injection, multiple injections of volume into the market. And then we're gonna see what New York wants to do. Obviously, Asia wanted to dump us. New York yesterday didn't want to do anything with Bitcoin. They were too busy watching the eclipse. Okay, but look, holding above this is very bullish. And then eventually, guys, my overall, my overall trading plan for Bitcoin, to be honest with you, is the following. I expect a new high still. I expect us to eventually come back down 
to around 60,000. I expect us to get a retest, and then I'm thinking we can come down to 52K, and then we make a new high. This is, in general, what I am looking to and expecting to happen for Bitcoin. Could I be wrong? Absolutely. But I think that's right now, based on all things considered, based on the weekly time frame, based on the daily time frame, this consolidation, the money flow being a little bit uncertain here, we technically do have bearish dip on the daily. We have bearish dip on the 12 hour. Uh, uh, it's not really a bearish div, but the money flow is definitely div. Um, the six hour looks pretty strong. Six hour looks pretty strong. Yeah, so all these things considered, I, I really think it's, I think we could see that push up, push down, retest, lower, and then boom. Up, down, retest, lower, boom, baby. Up, down, retest, lower, boom. All right, for Bitcoin. Now we are coming down to the wire as New York is about to open. I'll tell you this. I'll tell you what I don't like about the bottoms here. All right. You could make a case right now that we are seeing a hidden bullish divergence here on the one hour, right? You could definitely make the case that as the price is getting higher in this uptrend, we are watching the momentum waves getting lower here. As even the money flow is getting thicker here, showing us bullish continuation, right? And that is valid. But what I don't like about this bottom is when we go down to the lower time frames, we're not really seeing any bullish divergences here as we make that low. We don't see it on the 12 minute. We don't see it on the six minute. Do we even see it on the three minute? No, we don't even see bullish divergences on the three minute here, guys. And so for that reason, I would not be surprised if when New York opens, we come down lower and I'm going to be watching this wick because, again, remember, we could very easily now come down to take out this wick and get everybody very fearful. But if people are getting fearful as we come down to that wick, we need to be watching to see what market cipher B looks like because there's a really good chance we could be printing the coveted bullish uneven butt cheek pattern on market cipher B where we have a juicy left butt cheek full of ricotta cheese at an Italian restaurant and the right butt cheek is very, very, uh, well, skinny, right? Very, very skinny. All right, let's let's go ahead and let's just because here's the thing: we, we need to we need to be prepared for whatever we might see on the chart. So right now we're preparing for the ultimate cheekage. All right. Whoa. Right now we are preparing for the ultimate cheekage right here. All right. So we need to be aware of that.
I didn't know that you guys could hear the Discord. I'm so sorry about that, man. I'm so sorry about that. All right, so here we go. Bitcoin getting a little bit of a move to the downside right now. All right, but we are coming back down to that key level. So let's actually take a look. New York's going to open in about six minutes. Let's take a quick look here at what is happening on the order flow chart. All right, because this is going to tell us what traders are actually doing in real time. And I will be honest with you guys, we do have some bullish CBD forming here on a, on a slight increase of open interest. All right, so this is showing us that shorts are entering into trades, but they're unable to make a lower low. So as New York opens, I expect we get multiple healthy injections of some volume. And again, as I look at this 12 minute time frame, we are potentially seeing the uneven butt cheek pattern forming here as we get lower so we could see a nice move to the upside today new york loves to give us the old one two punch right she loves to give us that big move in one direction and then switch it on us so i'm not losing hope here guys unless we actually make another lower low here and close the candle below if we just do this i expect massive pump city look at the money flow getting higher market cipher b is there to tell us what is going to happen in the future all right it's there to tell us what is going to happen in the future all right, shout out to everybody in the chat right now. You guys absolutely crushing it, absolutely killing it. Thank you guys so much for being here. All righty, let's see. We are so close to 1 million subscribers, guys. Let's get the subs up, all right? Only 880,000 to 1 million. All right, we got some one-minute bull divs forming, one-minute bull divs forming. Shout out to J-Boy Bullish with the healthy injections, all right? Shout out to Joshua Smith. It's dumping, baby. Yeah, look, it is dumping. It is dumping. All right. Bro is entering a trade. Nah, I'm not entering a trade, guys. The only trades I have right now are the ones that uh, you see on the screen. Shout out to Chase. I'm so sorry about the Discord notifications, guys. I had the, uh, the system audio unmuted from yesterday when I had a guest on the stream, all right? How did I learn to trade? Lots of courses, lots of internet people, okay? I've probably taken nine or ten trading courses, stock trading courses, forex trading courses, uh, crypto trading courses. All right. Weekend lows are often swept. Yes, and this is something else that we do need to keep in mind as we are heading into four, literally four minutes before New York opens. All right, four minutes before New York opens. Let's take a quick look at that CME futures chart because not only do we have weekend lows, that could be swept up uh, with a broom. But we also do have CME gaps, all right? Two of them, to be exact. Let's take a look at the CME chart here for Bitcoin. We have two gaps, all right? We have ourselves a gap at 67,755. We have ourselves a gap at 63,975. All right, so this is pretty crazy because if we start to lose this golden pocket zone, 
Man, wow, would you look at that, guys. Golden Pocket lining up right with that CME gap. Yeah, so if we lose our trend line, guys, we are getting sucked right down to our, our 67.5 zone for the bounce. And if not, then we're probably coming down much lower. Yeah, so we could have a very violent move today. We're talking straight up violent move. Three minutes until NY. And let's see, we got some shorts opening up right in the moment. Let's check it out. Wow, look at this. 1.2 million people shorting the bottom. Don't short the bottom, bro. Don't short the bottom, bro. When I see people shorting the bottom, I'm like, wow, that's absolutely crazy. All right. Those people must be a little bit confused, like me back in college right after I got my degree in trans, non-carbon binary emission gender studies. All right. Now, look, you don't short the bottom. But if you do see a bearish sign on the chart, such as the Gareth Salloway bearish man bun pattern, then you can take a short. But notice, you have to short the bun. The bun is at the top. The bun is not at the bottom. If you're shorting the bottom of the bun, it's not a bun anymore, guys. The hair is down. All right. So we are at a very precarious situation here as we're waiting for New York to open. We got two minutes left. We are in between a rock and a hard place as Bitcoin is currently threatening to sweep the lows from the weekend right down to the Fibonacci golden pocket zone. We are holding support. We have hidden bullish divergences, but we don't have any regular bullish divergences. We're potentially looking here at this as a low time frame range, right? We've got a clearly defined high of the range right here. We understand if we can break above this level right here, we're going to see higher prices. This is key resistance right now. And I would say our key area of support is also going to be down here at around 69.6. All right. So we got to be watching, man. It's very interesting. Look at this. We took out the highs. Now let's see if we take out the lows and then get a move, right? This is our range. So this is what we're thinking. We got one minute until New York, baby. And the music itself is bearing witness to the intensity of this uh, situation. All right. The music is very intense. Do you hear it? New York open. New York is open and ready for business, baby. We are open and ready for business. Let's watch and see what happens here. Traders closing positions. I like the way the 12 minute money flow looks on Market Cypher B, man. I like that nice curvature. All right. I like the curvature. Look at all this beautiful curvature. All right, we're coming back to the VWAP. Let's see what happens. New York getting that first move to the upside on decrease of open interest into the VWAP. All right, into the VWAP. Let's see what happens here. Are we gonna pump or are we gonna dump? As we come to the VWAP, you can see we've got pretty much no people opening trades here. This is just complete people not knowing what to do as New York opens so far. We have not seen, we have not seen any healthy injections into the market yet. We have not seen any healthy injections yet. All right. There is no injections happening here. Let's check out our one minute time frame. Now, a lot of people brought up the fact that we do have a nice uneven butt cheek bullish pattern on the one minute time frame down here. We got money flow and momentum getting higher as we made this last low. All right. We are coming into the VWAP here. Let's put on our VWAP. All right, we're above the VWAP technically right now. We just broke above the VWAP. Wow, Pump City, baby. Look at this. New York is opening, taking us straight to Pump City. All right, all right, all right. Are we gonna pump before we dump? We're gonna pump before we dump? Let's check it back out again. What's happening here? Still a decrease of open interest. We just have a few longs longing the top right here. All right, they're longing the top. All right, you could very easily turn a bearish Gareth Salloway pattern into an upside down bullish Gareth Salloway handstand pattern by longing the top of the man bun. 
Let's see how she goes here. Wow, look at the pump, baby. Look at the pump. Now remember, New York loves to give the old one-two punch, baby. New York loves to give you the fake move in the beginning and then drop it on you, right? And give you the real move. So let's see what happens. I, I, I would rather have dumped first on New York Open. I would have rather have dumped first. I would have rather have come down and get a nice bounce with some more bull divs here. This makes me a little bit cautious, 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 cautious. All right. <clears throat> makes me a little bit cautious we are back now at resistance we're at the top of the range baby all right a break above this is going to be bullish for bitcoin and it looks to be that uh, the 12 minute agrees but man i was hoping for a drop to the downside first to give us a nice uneven butt cheek pattern on the 12 minute we'll have to wait and see what happens all right guys now again let's see i'm in a short trade potentially we'll get wrecked here guys all right also in some long trades here. Let's see if we can't pump. I was I was hoping to add a little bit to my longs if we got a little bit of a dip down. Let's see if we get a little bit of a dip. All right, things looking bullish. All right, things looking a little bit bullish, I'd say on the 12 minute. All right. All righty. Shout out to Joe Potter in the house, baby. We are, this is, this is very, very key, guys. I mean, we, we, you don't need to be, you don't need to be an expert in order to see that this is a very key line of support. All right. This is a very key line of support, man. This, this is intense guys. This is very intense. This is very intense. All right, let's get back to our chart here. Shout out to Joe Potter. All right, so look, we're at the top of the range. Once again, we're wicking down from the top of the range. So far, this move to the upside on New York Open has not been very strong. All right, it's been a pretty weak move. All right. We can tell because we're not seeing longs opening up here. All right, and so now we're starting to get that wick to the down yonder. The wick to the down yonder. All right. New York with the fake out, the one-two punch, baby. All right. Now, look, there's one of two things that we're looking to happen. Either, number one, we make a higher low right here, and then bam. But even more juicy, in my opinion, would be to take that pre-New York open high. Because look at the 12-minute time frame right now. You guys see that money flow? It's so juicy. It's so juicy, right? All right, let's see what's happening right now in real time, baby. Okay, so this move to the upside was a very weak move. We saw no longs opening up, all right? And now we're only seeing some shorts open up here. Nothing too crazy. Uh, not even a million longs or a million shorts. It's a very low volume candle thus far, all right? As we watch this play out, all right, we were watching it play, baby. We're watching it play. Let's uh, let's take a look on the actual exchanges here. We're gonna zoom in. We're gonna remove all this. All right, so we know we've got ourselves the range high right here. We've got ourselves the range low right here. And then we've got ourselves also the Fibonacci golden pocket 786 retest right here. Now remember guys, this is literally the opposite of what we did yesterday right yesterday the short trade was because we made a range high right yesterday we made that range high over here if we go to the five minute time frame or the 15 minute time frame right what happened we made a range high right over here right and so what do we do when we make a range high that's where we look for the short trades all right, that's how I got into this short trade that I'm in right now on Bitcoin, simply by waiting for that range high and seeing, do we get a fake out? Right now, we are waiting for our range low to see if we get a fake out. That is one scenario that we are looking at right now. All right. Let's check it out, baby. Let's check it out. All right. 
We also need to be aware of the Fibonacci retracement zone right in this box, all right? So come on, New York. Come on. What's the market maker going to do? All right. Shout out to J-Boy Bullish. He says, I think it would be a bad thing to survive the rapture. It means you were left behind. <laughs> We got people talking about eschatology in the house, man. That's what I like. You know, I'm an eschatology nerd myself. Uh, why do I keep saying all right? It's Geo. I don't know, man. It's a little tick I got, bro. All right. I have to like work on that. All right. I listen back to myself. All right. And yeah, I hear it too. All right. So I need to stop it. All right. So the New York fake pump just probably wrecked a, a lot of people that long the top. Absolutely, Divine Hood. So that's what we're waiting for. We are waiting for. Now, the the shorts to get, I'm sorry, for, for all these longs to get wrecked, right? A lot of longs wrecked up here. And then we're looking also for maybe just wreck everybody. That's kind of what I would like to see here. I, I would not be surprised if we get a bounce from here. But the reason why I want to see these lows taken is because then I would say things look extremely bullish if we take this low and then get a reclaim, given the, the environment of the chart right now. If we can take this low and get a reclaim, things would look very, very bullish. But if we simply just come down here, things would not look as bullish. And the reason I say that is because we haven't really seen a change of market structure locally. That's thing number one. Thing number two is we didn't get any low time frame bullish divergences at this low. So there's two things that are against us saying that this is the low. If we ask ourselves, is this the low? And we look at the evidence, there's two pieces of evidence right now telling us this is not the low. And those two pieces of evidence are number one, no bullish divergences at this low. Number two, after making this low, we were unable to change market structure and make a higher high which means looking for the higher low, although it can happen, it's much less probable. And so therefore, I would prefer to make a lower low and get a fake out of the low, because then we could say we have ourselves a nice potential one of these guys, right? If we take this low with bullish divergences, then we can say there's a much higher probability that we are going to change market structure this time around and take out the high. And once we get bullish divergences at a nice low, and then we change market structure on the high, then we could pull our fib and say, okay, now the probabilities are saying that there's a really high chance this is going to be the higher low. As opposed to right now, we haven't seen those pieces of evidence telling us that the higher low is, is probable. Doesn't mean it can't happen. It just means it's not nearly as probable based on my experience. And guys, again, I don't know anything. All right, I'm just a YouTuber. I don't know a dang thing. I don't know a dang thing, but make sure to like the video because we got 2,000 people in the house. All right. Shout out to uh, Danny Tuga 10 for the super chat. I really appreciate you, bro. God bless you. Um, we got some super chats in here. Shout out to JGD. He says, God bless you, Messianic Jew, JK. I do mean the blessings. Are you worried about the CME gaps? Um, look, um, I'm not worried about them. I'm looking for them for confluence. Shout out to JGD again with this super chat. God bless you and your family. The logos is real and is in Christ. Are you worried about the two X CME gas below? Uh, no, I'm not worried about them, my friend, but I am looking, I am looking for Long term, yes, I agree with you. The Logos is the Messiah, the Word of God. Absolutely, God Himself. Shout out to Sizacito. When do you think the altcoin season will start, G? It will start, my G, when Bitcoin hits a new high and ranges. Ranges. Shout out to my man Danny Tuga. Jason is one of the best traders out there. Very clear and serious guy. I'm the most serious guy out there. All right, I am the most serious guy out there. All right, Bitcoin, let's go, baby. 
Now remember, the trade usually happens, guys, about an hour, an hour and a half after New York opens. So, so far, I'd say the plan is in place here. So far, things are looking juicy and good. All right, say so far, things are looking nice because so far, so far, did I say so far? It's still looking like we could come down to make it a nice lower low with some bull divs. We, let's wait and see how she goes. All right, while we're waiting, all right. While we're waiting, we'll take a look at the coin that uh, that my man with the super chat sent. First super chat. All right. Inu coin says it was confirmed that Bitcoin did get the bottom in. All right, Inu. If you're right, I will say I was wrong. I will say I was wrong. Shout out to J Boy Bullish. All right. All right. <laughs> Shout out to all you guys with the all rights. All right, we will take a look at my man with the super chat. Let's check it out. My man, Shurtov Dermo. We're going to look at RPGPT on Dex Screener. While we're waiting for Bitcoin to get the move down. So let's take a look at this crazy animal. Um, wow. So I don't really know what to say about this, my friend. I really am sorry. But the last time we did look at this, we were saying that this, this purple box is the buy zone. So we did have some time to buy. And we did get some pumps. I can't say anything about this because there's no price action really to analyze here. There's no real price action to analyze here. This this chart is unanalyzable in my opinion. But just based on the same principles, I mean, we could still say that coming down now to the lows of this sideways range is buy territory. Right, if we want to load up on the cheap right now, we are trading a sideways range. So we've got ourselves two zones, right? The highs and the lows. And if you're buying low, that means you're accumulating at cheap prices, you know? So that's what I would say about that. That's what I would say about that. current song name immortal i honestly do not know all right shout out to vino th.r watching from the toilet i appreciate that my friend i'm streaming from the toilet as well i've got one of those new fancy walk-in toilets i've got one of those walk-in toilets you know one of those walk-in toilets all right usdt the best coin <laughs> See, a lot of people never noticed the all right before until someone brings it up. I've noticed it myself, listening back to myself. It's difficult to, um, how do I say this, to make up stuff constantly for an hour of what to say. I, I never prepare anything for any of these streams. I just talk. All right. So the filler, the filler comes out as an all right instead of an um. Shout out to Dome Life. Shout out to Stacy. Shout out to Overlord Cat Mage. Shout out to Fit Genius 618 Depends are all you need. Portable toilets. Shout out to Andre R.I. Bitcoin dump question mark. Well, look, we're looking for something to happen here on the chart. We're looking for something here to happen on the chart. We also understand, guys, if we lose the trend line, we can go straight to Dump City. We could go straight to Dump City. 
What altcoins should we look at while we're waiting for Bitcoin to take a dump? Pop some altcoins into the chat. All right, Solana, that's the first one we see. Solana. All right, so here's the deal with Solana. Shout out to Grish for the super chat. Hang on, let me set an alert here on Bitcoin dumping. Solana is consolidating within this triangle pattern. And I would say that the first opportunity that we have for a bounce on Solana is going to be at around $1.59, $1.52 to $1.59. I would like to see a fake out of this triangle. This is very similar to Bitcoin here. All right, it's the daily chart going back to March, very similar to Bitcoin, just like how we're waiting for Bitcoin to take out all the lows and get a bounce. I think we see the same thing for Solana, for Solana. And then if not, I would be looking for a move down to a dollar twenty-eight. you know? Here we go with the Bitcoin move. Yo. Solana reminds me of a girl named Hannah, a person that I used to know back in high school. I asked her out on a date. She said, Jason, my man, a little too late. Uh, I don't like you, only SBF. She dumped me on the spot, man. What about next? I said, what if we come down to Golden Pocket? She said, no, Jason, can't you spot it? Uh, I like you only like I like a brother. I only want to date a masculine other. You're too nerdy for me, Jason. So she sent me out to hang out with my no friends. Uh, cause I have no friends. But today I'm driving around in a Mercedes Benz. Uh oh, now my treadmill is stopping. The Bitcoin's dumping and then it's gonna be popping. We're looking for a move back down. Take the liquidity. You hear that sound? Cha ching It's the price bouncing back up. Hopefully I don't spill the coffee in my cup. Here we go, get the treadmill back on Every day when I'm rapping this song Trading Bitcoin all night long Then I wake up in the morning, things going wrong Long the top, then I hit the spot Came back down, then we got the drop 618 down below, don't you know? Then we take the liquidity down below CDW, the chickens get thirsty When I'm looking at things getting lurky in the chart every day like a work of art Chillin' with my friends, his name is Lark Uh My man Radu Uh Radu, he says a dead cat bounce Chillin' in the chat in this Bitcoin house On the couch like a cat looking to pounce On a nice mouse looking in the house Yeah, rejected from the VWAP Bitcoin dumping, maybe it will hit the spot. You ask Jay, why you still bullish? Take a look at Market Cypher B, looking swollish. We got the money flow coming right up, like a juicy drink of purple soda chilling in your cup. And if we draw a little thing right there, we could see somebody's wearing underwear. Why you looking at her? <laughs> All right, Bitcoin's starting to get a little bit of a bounce, guys. Bitcoin starting to get a little bit of a bounce, y'all. Yeah, Lark Davis. Lark Davis, you know. Lark Davis, you know. Huh. Yo. Bitcoin about to bounce from here Or do we come a bit lower Listen up my dear And let my words sink into your ear We're gonna do some technical analysis here 
Bitcoin could come a little lower. If we take a look, I'll start to show you that the money flow comes up like a nice butt when we take a look at the cheeks on the spot. When we go back to the chart, looking like a work of art, we could say that the bottom is not really the start of the move because things are not smooth. No divergences down in the room. So if we come just a little bit down, this Bitcoin chart, frown, smile, yeah, gonna go a mile. Bitcoin pumping like it hasn't in a while, uh. Bitcoin, this dump is emerging, but we wait for the low taken with a divergence. Money flow coming up on the squirgence, making a nice cheek pattern. Don't you hurt this? Yeah, now we're getting a blue candle. Maybe before it will turn into a new candle, we will come down lower. Bitcoin looking like it just wants to show you how they like to take the highs before New York opens. Drag it to the low. That's how we blow fin like the exchange, making the change in the trades every day when I'm looking for a place to make stays. All right, what else should we look at right now? Let's take a look. Should we take a look at, yeah, we got Solana, XRP, nah, we're not looking at XRP. All right, Vanry, we're gonna look at Vanry. Vanry, shout out to whoever wanted to look at Vanry. Vanry. We don't have much data for Vanry here. I'm not saying that that's an issue, though. All right. All right, so I would say this. We have a hidden bullish divergence on the daily right here. We don't have much data for this. So let's go ahead and pull a fib low to high. All right, we did bounce. We, f we front ran that 618 just a bit here. Look, I don't know anything about Vanry, guys. I don't. So I would say this on Vanry, I would love to come down a little bit lower into this golden pocket zone with bullish divs on the four hour. It would look really nice, all right? Something like this. Shoot for a new high. All right, Bitcoin also dripping on down to the lows. Come on, 12 minute money flow. Come on, 12-minute flow. Don't you know with the 12-minute money flow looking like that, it's not looking the best. We do want to see lower time frames also confirming. Let's go to the six. Six-minute looks really nice, guys. Come on, Bitcoin. Dump it, baby. Dump it, baby. All right, we're at the 618 level, guys, on Bitcoin. Let's see what's happening on the order flow book. Nothing much. We had a lot of shorts open here. Shorts now closed. Big decrease of OI. We're dropping down. This is a pretty weak move so far. So we might bounce from the golden pocket. We might bounce from here. How I would love to take that low down below. All right, let's see. Shout out to Can You Solve the Riddle. All right, the violator, he said, bro, I sent the super chat for Velodrome. All right, let me check the super chats here. Velodrome. Oh, wow, we got some super chats in the house. I'm so sorry. Shout out to Grish with the with the 99 uh, cent of euro super chat. Shout out to uh, Grish again. MNT, Velodrome. Hidden bull divs on the 12 and 24. Yeah, I know. I just like to see regular divs. I just prefer the regular divs. You know? All right, yeah, so let's take a look at uh, Mint. 
Manlete, Manlete. Man light. We'll start on the week. Let's take a peek at the week. All right, so on the week, let's mark out some, some levels. Let's go to the daily. Okay, so I have to say that of all things that could happen here, a preferred scenario for me would probably be, let's go to our 12 hour time frame. It would have to be coming down into this box, right? For mantle. Reason why is because we have a crazy breakout of this resistance right here and no retest. And we've been forming lots of uh, liquidity down below in what some might call a rising wedge pattern, okay? And so our target of the rising wedge is basically where the wedge begins. We hit it, bam. That's what I would be looking for. That's coming in around a dollar oh five ish um, basically to take those lows into our support and flip confluence with the Fibonacci golden pocket. That's the next area that I would see on this chart that interests me. It tickles my fancy. You know, okay, Bitcoin, dumping. She's dumping, oof, she's dumping. Let's check out our three. Okay, still acceptable. Let's check out our 12, still acceptable. Still acceptable, come on Bitcoin, get a massive dump, flush down the toilet. We got our plungers ready, baby. We got our plungers ready, baby. Here she goes. Seven eight six. All right, let's see if she bounces from seven eight six. Seven eight six is a key level, you know. So let's see what happened here. Wow, shorts opening up. Lots of shorts opening up right into the 786, about 5 million shorts into the 786, giving us a very bullish looking CBD divergence into that 786. <laughs> All right. So if we do make a lower low here, there's a lot of shorts in control. Let's let's watch this, guys. This is uh, this is down to the wire. You know, very interesting stuff here. Actually, let me put on the 886 Fibonacci. All right, to the 886 fib. Look at that. Look at that. Wow, look at that. The 886 fib. Isn't that interesting how the levels are so dang respected? Now again, personally for me, I would love to take out the low. I would love to take out Zillow, but uh, so far that's a pretty nice one minute candle. All right, let's put an alert down here at the 886 again. And let's put an alert here 
if we're gonna start to pump from here. Look, like we said, this could be the higher low. I already went through why I prefer it not to be and why I prefer lower here. Doesn't mean we're gonna get the lower low. All right, who else we got in the chat? Velodrome. All right, we're pumping, baby. Bitcoin pumping right now. All right, v Velodrome. All right, so I can't, uh, there's not too much about this that we could say here besides we're consistently making, we're consolidating, right? Let's check out our four hour. All right, so it's pretty obvious where the long trade is, <laughs> is gonna be from, right? Uh, we've got a support resistance flip perfectly at a golden pocket here. Uh, we've got liquidity below these lows. Come down. You know, form the introverted head and shoulders. And pump. That's that's what I want to see for Velo. Wow, the 886 was it, guys. Look at that. The Ocho Ocho Sace. No bullish divs, just a higher low. Look at that, man. Look at that. Would you look at that? Would you look at that? Yeah, Bitcoin, would you look at that? Yeah, Bitcoin price looking flat. Yeah. Well, would you look at that? Uh. That's what I want to see with Velo. And then we could look for new highs. All right. Let's see who else we got in the super chats. Shout out to my man, Hogli. Hidden bullish divs on the 12 and the 24. Yeah, in the one hour. But I prefer to see those regular divs. But hey, can we look at PYI? Is it the right time to buy PYI? All right. PYI. Never heard of Pyron. Well, I mean, look, this thing is getting beat down. It's definitely not uh, a bad time to be looking. Let's just put it that way. No data on the weekly. Daily looks like she's about to print a um, uh, a dot here. Let's go to the eight hour. Money flow coming lower on the eight. Let's go to the four. Four starting to turn up looking nice. So here's what I would say. We've obviously got ourselves a falling wedge pattern here. This is a bullish pattern in a bull market. I would say that this is definitely a time to be accumulated. If you're if you're bullish on this thing, then yeah, I mean, I would if I was bullish on this, and I look, I'm not saying I am because I never heard of this thing, but if I thought it had bullish fundamentals as we head into a bull market, as we're squeezing into this, I would say, yeah, let me deploy some capital on this now. Because as we can see, this is a giant megaphone that's going to be shouting really loud uh, that uh, I don't even know what to say about it. But yeah, look, I would say for me, buying down at the lows of this pattern, even coming back down to the support resistance flip here looks pretty nice to me. Okay, I can't tell you what to do. This is not financial advice. I don't know anything about Pyron. But based on the technicals alone, I would say we're in very bullish market structure. We're forming a bullish consolidation pattern in a bull market. Yeah, I would be interested in it. Let's see what the potential gains are. Again, this is definitely not financial advice. It's a 200% gain to the upside. So we're looking at only a 2x here. All right. We're looking at a 2x. If you're super bullish on it and you think it's going to like, you know, a dollar, then we're looking at a 10x. Um... But yeah, I don't know anything about Pyron. But shout out to you. All right, shout out to Nicholas Jones. Can you explain the difference between regular divs and hidden divs? 
All right, so a regular div is a continuation pattern in an uptrend where the regular the hidden div is the hidden div is when price is in an uptrend and you can draw a trend line like this and you notice every time price comes down to the trend line it finds support, right? When the oscillator is getting lower as the price is bouncing from a trend line, that's a hidden divergence. This is a continuation pattern, it's a bullish pattern. The reason I like hidden bull divs, uh, the reason I like to see regular bull divs is because I have a strategy called the hidden regular strategy, where if you see a hidden bullish divergence, you then look at lower time frames, and if the lower time frames have a regular divergence, then you go into the trade. The reason why we do this is because you don't know if this hidden divergence is actually a hidden divergence or if it's gonna keep coming lower and that we lose the trend line, right? And the reason why I like to see regular divergences in confluence with hidden divergences is because the lower time frame regular divergences give you the sign that the hidden divergence is a true hidden divergence. And because we have to understand the lower the oscillator gets, the weaker the price is, right? If you're using something like the RSI, it's called the relative strength index. The higher it is, the stronger it is, the lower it is, the weaker it is. And so this is a sign of weakness in a sense because the oscillator is very low. It's a sign of very weak momentum. But if we see this sign of weak momentum getting lower over time as the price is respecting a trend line and we see the regular bullish divergences on the lower time frames, then that is a very good confluence. All right. That's why. Can you long Bitcoin now? You can do whatever you want. All right. I'm not going to long Bitcoin now. But if I was going to long Bitcoin now, I would long and my stop loss would go under this low. Uh, right here, honestly. And if this trade got stopped out, I would lo I would look for my actual plan that I'm still planning to trade. All right. Let's change the music here. Let's see who else we got in the super chat. Shout out to Honda Trump AI. Pardon my brokenness, but time on pulse change. Yeah, let's check, check out time. Was it time or time? Time. Is this it on AD1 Fed? I don't know. I'm too dumb for this post chain. I don't even know what that is. I'll be honest with you. I don't know. I can't I can't find it. I don't know. I'm sorry. I can't find it. All right, shout out to Tesla man. What do I think about the 12 hour market cipher B? I think it looks bearish, but the divergence is dancing on the line. The money flow definitely looks bearish. All right, money flow definitely looks bearish here. Money flow definitely does look bearish here, okay? That's what I think about it. Money flow looking bearish. Let's see what's happening. All right, so we got a lot of longs opening up which is actually which is actually trapped quite a few shorts here about 3 million of them about 3 million shorts underwater here about 3 million shorts underwater
All right. Shout out to Merson. What do I think of Core Chart? Um, I don't know. Let's check it out. We'll start on the weekly. Wow, this is a very, very crazy uh, pump here. So look, it looks pretty bullish. I, I would not be interested in buying it. We had a nice breakout and retest of this area of resistance here. Let's see, where would I, where would I even be interested in buying this thing? Uh, I mean, the only place I would be slightly interested right now it would be to come below this and bounce from the golden pocket. I would want to see a bounce from the golden pocket. Uh, and if I don't see that bounce, I would I would wait for lower here, because you could easily see how low, how quick we could we could come down, right? We could very quickly come down. But yeah, I, I I wouldn't be I wouldn't want to buy this thing here. We've just had a pump in the last week of about six hundred percent. Shout out to Mr. Master. Can we check wormhole? Yeah, let's check wormhole. Wow. This thing's getting beat down, man. So I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. There's no support. We're in, we're in negative price discovery mode here. Let me check if it was on Binance. I, I don't know what to say about Wormhole. I'm sorry. Look, I mean, if you're bullish on it, maybe get some. I don't know. I really don't know. I'm so sorry. I don't know what to say about it. Um, I don't know what to say about it. I would wait maybe for some kind of bullish div. We had a bullish div here. It didn't amount to much. Money flow is getting lower. I don't really know what to say about it. I'm sorry. You're going to have to go based on fundamentals. Whether or not you want to get into this thing. Oh, okay. We got to go on Dex Tools. All right. Is this the one? Um, <laughs> yeah, I, I don't, I don't really know. I don't know what to say. I, I have nothing to say. I'm sorry. I have nothing to say. Are you bullish on it? Then get some. If not, then don't. That's all I can say about it. There's nothing really to analyze here. I'm sorry, guys. I am a trader. I'm, I'm a trader. I'm not a crypto guy. I don't know what it means to be on the layer two and three and all this. I don't even know that crap. I don't even care about it. I'm literally only a trader. So if the coin has no chart to look at and I don't have any data to say this is a good long or short, literally the only thing I tell you here is is gamble on it if you want to. If you're bullish on it fundamentally, go for it. If not, don't. That's the only thing I could say about this. I'm not a, I'm not a crypto guy. I'm a trader. I'm a TA guy. 
Uh, but thank you so much, Honda, Trump, AI. All right, Slurf. Let's check out Slurf. All right, so Slurf, guys, we had this falling wedge that kept on falling by the dip and it keeps on dipping, which is nice because now we have ourselves a nice area of resistance. This is pretty nice here. All right, let's check this out. Do you guys see what I see here? I think we could make the case that we are printing potentially right now an introverted head and shoulders pattern. Maybe. So I would say this. Uh, we haven't really changed market structure yet. But for Slurf, what would be nice would be a breakout above this line now and then a retest. And that could give us a nice entry upon a sign of strength here. Right? A breakout and a retest. That would give us a nice entry on a sign of strength. Right? We have the trend line, the fake out, and then the pump. Yeah, something like this for Slurf. Something like this for Slurf. All right. That was Solana. I need to click Pulse Chain. All right, Honda. I appreciate all your super chats. All right, Solana, Pulse Chain. I get them confused. Solana and Pulse Chain. They're, they sound the same to me. Solana and Pulse Chain. Is this it? PLS. Okay, 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 we got some stuff to work with here. I would say this, it actually looks pretty nice. Um, let's check this out, look at this. We have ourselves a really nice support resistance flip at 2121. That actually looks pretty nice to me. Let's go ahead and pull a fib from low to high. And we are bouncing right from the zone between the golden pocket and the 786. So we have a really nice zone right here. Now this I could work with, my friend. Thank you for your persistence. Yeah, I would say that this actually looks like a nice zone. Beautiful support resistance flip right here. And we do have a sign of strength here, right? We have a high, a low, a higher high, a higher low, a higher high, and now we're coming right back down to key support. So yeah, it's looking pretty nice to be honest with you. Uh, do we have any kind of indicators on here? Let's see if we have a an oscillator on here let's go down to like the one hour yeah look at this and we got some nice bullish divergences forming on the oscillator here as the price is getting lower we are seeing the oscillator get higher over time we have a really nice deep momentum wave followed by multiple drive of one hour bull divs on the chart yeah, looks pretty nice to me, to be honest with you, my friend. Thanks for your persistence. And I'm sorry for being an ignoramus. All right, can we can we check PigCoin? Yeah, we can check PigCoin. Let's check out PigCoin. All right, so pig coin to me looks bullish. I don't know anything about this coin. Quick disclaimer, I don't own this coin. I don't plan to own this coin, and I'm not telling you to buy this coin. But pig coin has broken out and retested this resistance here. And money flow is looking bullish on the weekly. Let's go to the daily. All right, so yeah, I would say that for me, PigCoin, the place to look to get in on this, we have a historic support resistance flip right around this zone. You guys see how this was our resistance 
through February all the way through April, and then it was our resistance again in December before the breakout. We broke it out. We're forming a flag here, which means people are expecting the breakout of the flag, which might happen. But if you know the way I like to trade, I like to wait to wreck everybody. And so lots of liquidity below these levels. Let's get a breakdown of the triangle into this box and then pump. This is what I would like to see here. This is what I would like to see. All right. Pig nibble divergences on pig coin? Yeah, maybe. All right, look at that. Bitcoin from the 886. That's crazy. That is just crazy, man. That's not pig coin. Psychedelic astronaut says that's not it. Pig coin, all one word. All right, pig coin. All right, here we go. Pig coin. Got it. Pig coin. Pig coin. Let's check it out. All right, this little piggy. Channel breakdown and back test of channel on the daily let's go to the four hour looks weak uh, I, I I can't say I would want to buy this thing now what I would want to see is some kind of a sign of strength here so the only place I would actually really be interested in Pigcoin is taking out this low and then reclaiming with bullish divs. Then I would say that's a really nice looking bottom. Uh, if we if we start to print bullish divs here. The money flow on the four hour I don't like. All right. So that other than that, we would need to see some kind of sign of strength here. What's a sign of strength? Well, for me, a sign of strength would have to be a reclaim of this resistance and then look to long a retest of sorts. But there's no point of reference down here for me, which I could say it's a good place to get in. Besides saying that we're just buying it when it's low. Um, but yeah, I would, I would want to either see a sign of strength with a retest or look to see what happens if we take this low here. Those would be my two options on piggy coin. Pig coin. The pig coin. All right, shout out to Psychedelic Astronaut. Thank you so much for the super chat, my man. All righty. Litecoin? Musical World spam in the chat with the LTC. Yeah, we could check a look at it. Just don't spam the chat, bro. I appreciate your zeal, though. I appreciate your zeal. All right, so Litecoin right now is about to print a pretty bearish looking weekly red dot. And daily has some bear divs printing as well. We have not yet come to the top of the range, but in general, we are at resistance. We haven't really changed market structure here yet.
I feel like things need to cool off a little bit here. I feel that things do need to cool off a little bit here. Where would I be looking? Oh, man. Okay, so look. I, I have to say that for Litecoin, obviously we can't know for certain what's gonna happen, but a really nice place to me right now is this high volume node at 70 bucks. A $70 Litecoin looks really, 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 really juicy to me. Let the weekly red dot cool off. That's a big dump, but that's a really nice level. We're talking about, and if I was looking to buy Litecoin, yeah, I would wanna see a 40% correction before I get into Litecoin here. You know, we got the high time frames topping out on the oscillators. All right, here goes Bitcoin taking another dumperoni in queso. Shorts opening up. Lots of shorts here, guys. Lots of shorts coming in. Yeah, shorts are coming in. Where do I begin? But the shorts are coming in. Uh, the shorts are coming in. Where do I begin? Because the shorts are coming in. Yeah, we got the shorts coming in. Bitcoin gonna knows that the shorts are coming in. Yo, came down to the level, the 886. Let me get it on your bevel. Then we came up with a little bit of bounce like a kitty cat looking at a mouse to pounce. And then guess what? We came up to resistance. Bitcoin couldn't break through and go the distance. We're coming back down to another low. Bitcoin price, man, look out below. We're gonna come down and take out the low with the bullish divergence. Listen to me flow, got the money coming in with money flow. On the 12 and 6 minute, got the dots on show. Yeah, maybe we get a move. Bitcoin price action looking kinda smooth, but maybe things gonna get choppy. Get a dump down, it's gonna get rocky cause we long the top, then the price starts to drop. Bitcoin gonna dump, it's gonna hit the spot. We gonna bounce, maybe we gonna dump. The Bitcoin price is in a little slump. Uh oh, got a candle turning blue. On the treadmill with my new shoes. Going uphill every single day, sitting down at the charts when I'm trying to get paid. And we're dumping lower, coming down to support. Did you long up here? You're about to get hort liquidation and trepidation. Looking around the place, I got the looking in the station. Yeah, starting to dump. Bitcoin going for the lows on the hump the day before Wednesday. If you know what I mean, we're holding right here, man. Give me some green or maybe red. The Bitcoin longs are going to end up dead. Pull up the order flow. Thoughts in my head. head, head. Wow, look at the shorts coming in here. <laughs> so, so many shorts. So, so, so. So, so, so. So, so, so many shorts. That's all she's gonna give us, yeah? Maybe we got a CDW of this low. Can you imagine? Let's check out Market Cipher. Yeah, you know what's interesting? The six minute technically does have a bullish div. All right. All right, let's check out Market Cipher. Okay, so I like, this, I like the six minute money flow. Let's check out the three minute. I even like the three minute. I just really wish we could get another low in here. Dang it, man. You know, nice one minute bull div there. I don't really like the way this is developing here, guys. I don't like the way it's developing. The reason I don't like the way it's developing is because when you have a level like this, and you come down once for a little bounce, and then you come down twice for a little bounce, it typically means we're not gonna get the real move that we're looking for. Most of the time, it means we're not gonna get the move that we're looking for, you know? That's usually what that means. And, you know, I do wanna see that. I wanna see it happen fast. Otherwise, we're gonna be, we're gonna be dumping. And we're below the trend line again, guys. We do have some bull divs here. But I want to see a faster, a bit of a faster move right there. 
All right. Shout out to my man Kevin. Can you look at SQT? Gravy Train wants to look at QORPO. We got lots of letters in the house today. QORPO, QRSTUV, WXUSDT. All right. All right, let's watch and wait here, guys. Let's watch and wait. All I can say is we have a lot of people shorting the bottom here. But so far, they're not even underwater. They're not even underwater yet. Yeah, so there's tons of shorts opening up here, and so far they're not even underwater. If we start to trap them, then uh, then we could talk maybe. But there's a lot of them coming in. It's it's pretty intense here. Yeah, shout out to J-Boy Bullocks. This is intense. Intense. It's intense. Yeah, that's for certain, man. That's for certain. Got a ladybug on my finger. All right, Bitcoin's going for the low. Let's watch and see what happens at this low. Here she goeth. This is Bing X. We have not taken the low on Bing X. We have not taken the low on MexC. We have not taken the low on Bybit, but we're starting to get a little bounce. I don't like this. Let's put on our one minute here. All right, we're we're it's very strange the way we're flirting with this low. It's it's weird, man. I'll be honest with you. It's weird the way we're flirting with it like that. Let's watch and see if anything significant happens here.
All right, so we've taken that low. If we get a move back above, that would be bullish because we do have bullish divs here. So a move and a candle close above this line is bullish in the context right now. I would say that, yeah, a move above that line is bullish. Okay. So let's see if we close the candle one minute. Let's take a look at market cipher here. Yeah, I'd say, I'd say that we've taken the low. We have some bullish divs on the one minute. We've got bullish divs on the 12 minute here. Money flow and momentum coming higher here. I'd say it could be it could be a nice a nice bottom. Ten minute looks nice. Three minute looks nice as well. The music's intense, man. This is intense music. Let's see what happened here on the order flow. Yeah, it looks pretty nice uh, for a bottom. Lots of longs liquidated, and shorts closed out. Looks nice, I'd say. Looks nice. Let's see what happens here. I do want to see candle closing above level. We want to see fast, fast move here. Come on, come on. I, I think the six minute money flow looks good. I think it looks good here. I'll be honest, I think it looks good. All right, so if we get that move, I'm going to add to this long trade here. If we come above this yellow line, I'm going to add to this long. Let's see. Whoa, uh -oh. five minute candle closed below the level. Let's see, Bitcoin. Let's see. Come on. If we don't, uh, if we don't get that, I obviously am not going to add to the trade. Oh man, looking bad, looking real bad. Let's see. Let's check out our lower terms here. We came down to weekly open. We're at weekly open, this is an important zone. Let's watch and see what happens here. We've just reclaimed weekly open. We wanna reclaim this yellow line. Reclaim yellow line, we can add to the trade, baby. We don't reclaim yellow line. Well, I guess this thing will keep go coming down until we get to our entry. Hopefully we don't come down that low. But if we don't reclaim that yellow line, then we look down for lower prices. All right, we got some super chats in the house. Shout out to Overcome, he says, <laughs> Down tempo metalcore instrumental dump track. Um, I don't know if I have that, but let's let let us do check out our super chats right now. Um, all right, we got some some questions about looking at coins. I appreciate you guys. Thank you for your super chats. We might get be able to get to it, but right now we do need to look at the Bitcoin price action here because it is taking a massive dump right now. Oh my goodness. All right, so although things did look bullish, we never did get come above that level. So maybe we come much lower here. As I'm looking at my five second oscillator, my 12 minute oscillator, I'd say our next target is 67.8. Our next target is 67.8. Yeah, wow, okay, so. Let's check this out here, 67.8. That's quite some ways. 
Man, we are dumping, baby. This is this is intense. This is intense. All right, let's see this. All right, so we did just take this low here. We did just take that low here, so this could give us a little bit of a bounce. Looks like it is giving us a bit of a bounce here. Looks like it's giving us a bit of a bounce after taking that low right there. Now, if we lose this level, guys, then we are coming down to... Let's pull up our, our market cipher chart because that's important. Look, I do think we have bullish divs on the chart right here. After a move like that and a liquidity grab like that, I'm not going to be surprised if we get a bit of a move to the upside here. But look at this. If we don't hold this, this actually was a really nice reaction, to be honest with you. Actually, we took it on, we took it on some exchanges. We didn't take it on Bybit. Isn't that interesting? We took this one only on Bybit. If we're not going to get a bounce from here, I would say we're coming down to the Fibonacci Golden Pocket, which is going to be coming in at around, yeah, 67.6, guys. That Fib Golden Pocket right there. So, this is nuts. This is nuts. Yeah. This is totally nuts, man. This is totally nuts, man. Let's go to the one minute. Yeah, so it's interesting. We took that little low. We did get a pretty nice reaction from it, in my opinion. Right? Let's go. This is the one minute. Let's see how the five second looked at that low. Did give us some, some bull divs, honestly. Quite interesting. Quite interesting. Yeah, that was quite a nice reaction. Let's see how she goes here. That was an interesting reaction, man. All right, let's see here. We're gonna grab the liquidity again. Yeah, it, it yeah because Bybit, yeah because Bybit didn't take the low. Maybe we do take that liquidity again. All right. The five second, I know I'm on the five second, that's crazy, but you know, let's check out our six minute. Man, money flow looks good, but yeah, you know, I'd say, I'd say let's, let's keep our eyes on this level here. And if not, if not from this level, 
Let's see if uh, that golden pocket could be nice as the next zone. I do like that golden pocket, to be honest with you. Hang on, I gotta turn my iPad off low power mode right now. All right, let us see what happens here. Well, it looks like it looks like it's holding a bit there. All right, not not anything to write home about yet. Let's wait for that uh, that golden pocket zone. All right, so we're flirting with it. Like, we did take that liquidity a little bit. Let's see what happens with this candle close. Let's check out the order flow. Wow, massive decrease of OI on that. Like, lots of longs and shorts out of the game. Massive amounts of liquidations on that one. So yeah, again, below us, we do have this nice zone. This is a very nice zone right here. These little zones, these little things here, obviously they're giving us some move, but it's nothing too crazy. But they could, they can make for scalps. Let's check out our three. Yeah, big bottom. I think I think another push to the downside could give us a nice move, honestly. Let's wait and see how that goes. We do have a few longs coming in here. All right, getting a bit of a move here. Yeah, so this could be a nice bottom. I don't know. I don't know. It could be a nice bottom. But uh, it would be nice to get another push to the downside here, guys. But look, the 12-minute is bullish. So the way I like to trade is I'm a bit of a knife catcher. So if I see a CDW, I'll take it. If I see a CDW, I'll take it. Quick, quick scalp and then, you know, let the rest ride, to be honest with you. Let's see who we got in the chat right now. SPX is dumping. 
All right, fellow trader says, uh, so many got trapped because of this uh, effing dickhead. Incredible, I warned you. Shout out to fellow trader. Bro, I, there's no shame in looking for longs at these lows, all right? And I'm not telling anybody what to do right now, okay? I'm not telling anybody what to do. All right? I'm not telling anybody what to do. But look, I'm, I am getting bullish at support. We're looking at these levels. We're looking for these liquidity grabs. We're looking for these reclaims. Honestly, you could have taken... You could have taken two tra two long scalps right here. You could have done it. You could have taken two long scalps right here and been profitable if you're trading on Mexi. All right. Shout out to Radar Apologetics. He says bull dib on the 45 minute forming. Shout out to fellow trader. May God bless you, fellow trader, in Jesus' name. I pray, my friend, that you, uh, that the negativity leaves you, my man. I, I say this because being negative, it can only lead to poor outcomes with your own health, man. With your own health, with your own life, bro. It's not worth it, man. Trust me, it's not worth it. The human body is so intricately designed. If you're always negative, man, it's going to manifest itself physically, all right? It's going to manifest itself physically. All right, so let's see how this goes, man. What's a CDW? It's basically a liquidity grab. It's basically a liquidity grab. All right, guys, make sure to like the stream. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. So, look, long story short, okay, this right here could be a bottom. I'll be honest, it could be a bottom. A nicer level is going to be the golden pocket down below. But if you're if you have taken a long scalp from the loss and the reclaim of this level, that's a really that's a good trade. That's a good scalp trade. Look at this. We're already talking a two to one risk reward right here. Right? Especially if you're on Mex C. So you can take these scalps and be profitable. Six minute snake eyes. All right, should we should we do a pump song? Yeah, that's true. Negative energy won't get you anywhere, you know. But I have no hate. I have no, I have no negative feelings of uh, toward fellow trader. In fact, from deep within my innermost being, I truly do wish the best, and I truly pray that the Lord does bless him. You know. We've all had we've all had points in our life where we are in a negative place. And I can only imagine the level of negativity you have to have to be a full-time YouTube uh, negative commenter, you know? So that's not a good place to be, man. That's not a good place to be. All right, let's see what happens here, y'all. Shout out to Discover Crypto in the chat. Who are you, Discover Crypto? Which which Discover Crypto personality are you? Who are you? Will you reveal your true personality? Or are you just Discover Crypto? Shout out to Crypto Crank. Let's pop back on this chart here. Yeah, look at this, man. If we confirm a, a 12 minute green dot, it doesn't look so bad right now. I would say this, the six minute looks like she wants to make another move to the downside here. What would be really nice is if we do hover around here a little bit, come down, and then we get ourselves a nice kind of divergence like this with money flow coming to the upside. You know? 
tomorrow is the CPI. We're making a, a bearish engulfing on the daily. Yeah, I mean, that's also a possibility, my friend. You know, I mean, we are below the trend line right now. We are below the trend line. So it's definitely not a good look for Bitcoin. On if, if this doesn't hold here, man, that is not a good look. That is not a good look when we just zoom out objectively and say, oh man, we have lost the trend line, all right? We have lost the trend line. Shout out to Piet. He started trading better since started following me. And uh, stop following clickbait breakout traders. I'm glad to hear that, man. All right, shout out to Discover Crypto. Crypto, am I bullish on Quick? I'll be honest, Discover Crypto. I haven't heard of it. Maybe I should probably watch your channel because I have not heard of Quick. All right, let's check it out here. Quick USDT. All right, Bitcoin is pumping. All right. All right, so quick. I would say like, I, I mean, let's go to, let's check, let's try, check out this four hour here. The four hour looks really nice, man. So I can't help but see, cause I, I always, you know, these are the setups I go for, are those liquidity grabs. So if, if we take that low, we're going to be taking out basically three of these lows right here. Man, would that not be a nice uh, move into a support resistance flip as well? Something like that with the four hour giving us the money flow and the momentum. We've got this really nice support resistance flip right here. Probably single prints being filled and we have liquidity here as well. And I'm, I'll bet you a lot of people are looking at this as, as like a triangle waiting to break out. So people are gonna be freaking out and, and stopped out if we break to the downside. Let's pull a fib. <laughs> yeah, look, it's, uh, it's the golden pocket as well. So yeah, I think that's a pretty good, uh, pretty good place to look all right so Bitcoin guys getting a little move to the upside here all right so when we take a look when we zoom out at Bitcoin we can see that this level that we're bouncing from was a liquidity grab right it was a liquidity grab of these most recent lows that we just made right here 68.8 but also it's a back test interestingly enough of this range right here Okay, interestingly enough of this old range right here. So if we hold, maybe this is our our area. Okay, let's see how she goeth. Let's see how she goeth. To use a little old English. Let's see. And if not, then I expect to move down to the golden pocket, which is going to be right around here. If we can't hold this, I expect the golden pocket, all right? We are rejecting from weekly open, just so everyone knows right now. Let's let's pull up the chart and go to a low time frame here. We had a weekly open at 69365. And as you can see, we came down below it and we tried to reclaim it and we are currently finding resistance right there at the weekly open. All right. Now this, like I said, this could be our low. This is a pretty nice level to take right here. So let's see how this happens. All right. Let's see how this happens.
All right, shout out to my man, Michael Vandervoort with the super chat. What does liquidity mean in terms of layman terms? It just means people stop losses are there, right? So it's a, it's a stop hunt. Like a lot of people long and their stops under these areas in order to keep them in the uptrend. So we just stop everyone out and then we reverse, right? That's what liquidity means. So that's what it means. And you should be looking for trades along these areas. So, you know, the more experience of a trader you get, the more you can, you know, even if you're planning for a lower level, like right down here, which I am, if you see something like this happen in real time, you can just kind of go for the trade, right? You can just kind of go for the trade. If you're just aware of where these levels are. All right, let's check it out. Who do we got? in the house. Let's see if we got any any super chatters. Man, we've been on for two hours. That is insane. All right. Shout out to everybody in the chat right now. As Bitcoin is, is in dire straits. All right. As Bitcoin is in dire straits here. Yeah, so this is the, the white level is a line we really don't want to lose now. So let's see if we pull a fib. You know, there's there's really no sign of strength here right now, guys. Just to be honest with you, like a, a scalp long could be had here, could have been had here, should I say. But until we change market structure, there's no real sign of strength. So if you're not scalp long, um, I guess there's a one minute change of structure here. We have a nicer level below us, but you know, if you were looking for a scalp, this would have to be it right now. If you were looking for a scalp, a very, uh, a very uh, well, you know, look, all trades should not be risky, right? I mean, if you're, if you know that this is your setup here, and you're only, you only need this much of a stop loss, and you're shooting, let's say, back toward this area, that's not a bad trade setup. But it's up to you then to determine whether or not you want to take that. Uh, 12 minute money flow is no longer bullish, to be honest with you guys. 12 minute money flow is no longer bullish. And just so everybody knows, I'm personally not planning to take this uh, long trade, the one I just showed here. Okay. I'm personally not looking to take that trade. I did take a scalp trade from down here. And that is what it is. Shout out to Trader Geo. It don't mean a peep if it ain't got that cheek, baby. That's so true, Trader Geo. That's so true. Here goes one hour in the red. Let's check out the hourly candle. When, when does this thing close? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Yeah, so we just closed that hourly candle. Let's see how this goes here, man. Let's, let's see how this goes. You know, this could be the low for the day. Wouldn't surprise me if this is the low for the day. Let's see how it goes, all right? Wouldn't surprise me if it's the low for the day. Shout out to Trader Geo. How, how the heck? Oh, okay. I, I, you know, I, I have a hard time using a computer, guys. I do have a hard time using a computer. All right. Shout out to Mega. Great stream man watching from the Brisbane, Australia. That's what's up. Shout out to Trader Geo. Shout out to James. These people that want to know if you're taking a trade or not. I can't tell you guys if I'm taking a trade or not for a number of reasons, okay? If I told people the trades I've taken on this stream, probably most of you guys would be wrecked, all right? I, I, I because look, uh, I, I, I don't want to wreck people. I can't tell people what to do. What if I told people, what if I told everybody that I longed this? this little dip right here or something and people would still be in the long they'd be in the red right what if i told people in the moment that i'm long and down here right which i did most people especially if, if you're looking for signals are not going to get out in time right or flop and grow up or, yeah, trust me trust me trust me Besides, I like to only tell people my actual trades in the Casper Crew VIP Discord. 
And even then, I gotta be selective. I don't want people to get wrecked. Yeah, I should wrench Trader Geo. Shout out to Trader Geo. Let me see, where's Trader Geo? Here we go, Trader Geo, I'm about to make you a moderator. All right, Bitcoin taking a little dump. All right, Bitcoin coming down to make another low. Shout out to DS Flat. Bitcoin Cash chart looks like Bitcoin chart in 2014, 2018. Yeah, a lot of people have been saying that. Maybe Bitcoin Cash is the real Bitcoin. Do you guys remember the fork? I remember the fork like it was yesterday, man. All of a sudden, I had Bitcoin Cash. And do you know what I did with it? Immediately, I sold it. <laughs> I sold it immediately. I said, man, I have free money. Let me sell this right now. I sold it right now, man. Every every Bitcoin you had, you got some BTC cash back in those days. The fork. You know? You remember that? That was wild. You guys remember that? Who remembers that? Roger Ver just put out a new video. Interesting, interesting. I'll have to check it out, DS Flat. I really will have to check that out, my man. I will have to check that out. All right, Bitcoin's going to, to take the low again, y'all. All right, here we go, dumping. All right, let's see if we come down to this golden pocket here. Let's objectively now look at our 12 minute. The money flow is not looking as good here on the 12 minute, guys. Let's check out the 24 minute. You know, we're dancing on the line here. If we do get a move down to that golden pocket, you know, that could that could be nice. Uh, but let's let's kind of wait and see how this happens, all right? I would like a move down there. Let's see what happens. Sixty-eight three fifty. Is that what you're looking at? Why sixty-eight three fifty, my man, Davy Christian NH? What do you got there? What you got there, Davy? All right, we still got some longs open. 
All right, we still got some longs open here. Only about $300,000 worth. All right, and we have lost a lot of money on these longs, unrealized profits, right? I was up 45K yesterday. Well, that's not true. I did close out some profits. So, you know, we realized 19K. Now it looks like Bitcoin is trying to get a move to the upside. That would be crazy if uh, after all this, we get a bounce from here. Today, my long trades are these. So this was the short from a while ago. This was the, I took two scalps today, two long scalps from these CDWs. Now I'm out of all my longs on this account. I would hope that we don't bounce from here after all that. That would, that would suck and be demoralizing, but that's how Bitcoin rolls, all right? That 12 minute, it looks like it could diverge at any time, which is why I really want to come down a bit lower toward that golden pocket zone because I don't have a level here. This could just be a glorified CDW. Let's see what's happening on the order flow. Ah, lots of shorts uh, actually open up at the bottom there and long liquidations. I hope we come lower here, guys. I'll be honest with you. It would really suck if this was the bottom after literally taking two long scalps from this zone right here and having them stopped out after a TP1. It would be awful if this was the actual bottom, you know, but that's the way it goes. That's the way it goes. Where's the golden pocket? It's right down here at about 67.5. 67.5. five. Five. Staying alive, baby. We're already in the CME gap. That's actually an interesting point. Let's check out the CME gaps. Yeah, we're in the gap. It will be filled also at the golden pocket, guys. Now, remember, last CME gap, we came into the gap and didn't fill. But we bounced from a golden pocket. The reason we didn't fill the gap is because we bounced from a golden pocket. So let's see if some, something similar happens right here. All right. Let's see if something similar happens right here. Man, we've been live for a long time, guys. All right. I got to go, man. I got to go. It's a beautiful day. I don't want to waste the day away. Guys, God bless everybody. In Jesus' name, even if you're not religious. I don't take myself seriously at all, but I do take my walk with the Lord very seriously. My relationship with Jesus, I take very seriously because only in Jesus can you find eternal purpose and hope. There's no other place to find that. And knowing that even though man is in a fallen, sinful state, God himself took on flesh so that he could dwell with us. And then he died to pay the price for all the bad things you've ever done. And then he rose again so that if we turn to him, put our trust in him. He will fill us with his Holy Spirit and cause us to be a new creation. And we also have the eternal hope of a physical bodily resurrection where we will exist in the state that humanity was originally intended to exist in. That's what gets me out of bed every single morning, guys. That's literally what drives me to do everything I do in my life. And it's cool if you don't believe that. But I got to tell you about it because it changed my life. That being said, God bless you all and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.